Yeah, totally. 100%. Awesome. And then we got Kate's best friend. Mm -hmm. Ah, Elon Musk, Elon Musk, Elon Musk. Ah. The role for crypto in the future, baby. So this is all about the, him hinting at um, a Twitter coin. Yep. Which is really interesting. So I would highly doubt that that is going to be based on Doge. I think that he, I don't know. Do you think he's going to launch his own coin and mm -hmm. go down that route, risk the security side of it? I mean, I don't know. It's really, really interesting. That one's tough, dude. I, I don't know the answer to that question. I mean, he hasn't shut up about the fact that he needs crypto in Twitter. He hasn't shut up. He needs it as a, he wants it. He wants it in place. So he's going to make it happen. Yeah, I feel like, I, I don't know. I feel like if they did one, they'd want it to be like a stable coin style, not Dogecoin where it, the potential could go up or down based on like news. And but, they would uh, want to control it. Yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like they would want to use like a stable coin. So I feel like they might make their own. Yeah, well, Dogecoin has been going up and down daily as some people think that they're going to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Other people think they won't. And, and you see those emotions up and down. Yeah. But I mean, here's what was tweeted by one of the Twitter team members who then deleted it. Whoa. But I mean, that's a coin and that's the Twitter logo. Yeah. Right. That's interesting. Yeah. I, did, I did not hear about that. Yeah. So it was Jane Montron Wong. Yeah, you can oh. see her, her Twitter, and she later deleted Pretty it. Pretty right? big mistake right there. Why would you even post that? Oh, no, bro. Nothing's a mistake like that. She probably yeah. did it on purpose. Got to be. Yeah. So so people are wondering. Damn. Yeah, that's a tough one, dude. Uh, what would, what do you guys think in the chat? Like, would you would you rather have Doge or Twitter coin? I feel like... Much rather have Twitter speaking, coin. Twitter coin makes sense, but... Yeah, the problem with Doge... Too. Uh, we've said it before in the show. The problem with Doge is that currently its system won't allow for a lot of transactions. It can, I think it can do like 10 transactions a second or something stupid. Yeah. Bro. It's never had to. So they can either do like what, an Ethereum type upgrade, um, which look, he's capable of, not him personally, but he's got the connections to, to maybe make Doge into that. But why go through all of that when you can just start your own without the FUD of Doge and the, the fact that it's a meme and all the shit and do your own coin and I don't know. You know, the, the problem with the Twitter coin, its own coin, is that it then opens them up to potentially being a security, which is a big problem. Um, don't know. Yeah. Yeah, that's a... Or they could just say that. we are security. I mean, and, and then do the necessary, necessary regulation that needs to go along with that. I mean, he's not scared of regulation. He's, it's not easy to get, to get a right to launch a bloody spaceship, but he... He jumps through the hoops and yeah, does. I think I think he he's just more about doing it himself. I think a Twitter coin makes better sense than, than adopting Dogecoin. Maybe they do both. Like I don't know, but I feel like you've got to have a stable coin style of coin if you're going to do this kind of thing. If it's going to be like tipping or whatever they decide to do with this. What about if you just have a yeah? You'd have to have your own token. You have a Twitter coin that can be bought with Doge or with USDC or whatever Ethereum or whatever. But I think you got to have your own personally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Interesting. Interesting one for sure. Going to keep our eye on it. Elon Musk, baby, out here making waves every single day. Pissing off did you of see? Did you see? Um, there were pictures of him turning offices into bedrooms at Twitter. Did I see that? Is that real? Yeah, proper, legit. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to find it. He, like, I'll try to find it while we chat. So, so first of all, he's made himself. Yeah, no, 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 bro. You will work until like midnight, and then it's a bit late to go home, sleep here, oh. and we'll see you at six o'clock tomorrow morning. <laughs> that's crazy, dude. That's, that's I mean, I'm yeah, like, bro. I don't mind that. Like, uh, I don't know. I mean, that's I think it's funny. I think it's it's probably hopefully it's just there as an option, not as so much like expecting you to sleep there. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think it's legal to expect it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's coming up. I'll show you. Um, and the other thing is that apparently he's made one for him. We know that he used to sleep at Tesla all the time, eh? He had yeah. that like little pack up house thing next door. So this is James Clayton. Um, he's he's reputable. It's not just like a random account. And here you can see some of the office rooms have been turned into like either a couch there. Um, that's just been or that uh, that might be Lons. I don't know. Because that one looks yeah. quite nice. Look at those two pretty screens. Pretty nice one right there. He's been watching yeah. some some kinky shit on that TV. 
I don't think so, bro. He's going to be watching on the one screen because there's two screens. On the one screen, he's going to be watching the Dogecoin uh, chart. Mm -hmm. And on the other screen, he's going to be watching either rockets take <laughs> off if they, or he's going uh, to be watching a tw his Twitter feed or bro, something. He's probably on a Twitter effect. space. He's going to be on a Twitter space. It's fucking hilarious. There's got it. cupboards in it and they say slippers and then they put a laundry. <laughs> So you can do oh, your God. washing. Don't know. Damn. Interesting. Here's yeah, I'm not one. sure. That's fucking cool. I like that, dude. Don't what do you guys know, think? What, what would you guys do if he... I feel like I'm, I, I would be worried about it like starting to smell, though. Like people napping, drooling, sweating. Yeah, you know, well, you just... Uh, you, yeah, get people into wash. I don't know, bro. Each their own. Um, yeah, look, I uh, yeah, no idea what to think of it. I just I don't understand how Tesla's still functioning because the guy is clearly yeah, it did remind me of, of FB SBF. I mean, there's hundreds of pictures of him sleeping like this in the in the FTX days. That's fucking wild. Dude, look at all those fucking screens. What? Yeah, everyone has six screens. Oh well, head, God. head, but also look at all these blankets, okay? They all sleeping there, bro. <laughs> dude. I be, I feel like there's gonna be so many people who are like cleanliness freaks who are gonna be like, "What the fuck, yo?" Like reusing each other's blankets and getting all each other's body odor and shit all over it, and like some people are gonna have like dandruff. They're gonna have like fucking white pieces of fuzz in everyone's blankets, and then next thing you know, they're gonna have fucking lice. What did he say to give? Wait, what did that first article say? Yes. Wow. Elon Musk, bro. That's it. I mean, bro, that's me. That's, that's me right man. now. For people who don't know, right behind me is a beanbag, and in that beanbag, I sleep. I literally, when I'm done working, I literally turn off my computer and fall into my beanbag and fall asleep. That's how I do it. Um, so I'm similar. Don't, don't you get a like don't you get a sore back when you? No, dude. Up? I've been doing it for six months. I've been sleeping on that beanbag. It's a big beanbag. Uh, it's like huge. Still, still, I bro, wait until you're 40. You can't do that stuff anymore. Why not? You're back, bro. Wait, what do you you're, mean? You're I do pull ups. There. No, your back gets sore if you sleep on a freaking beanbag for nine hours, bro, or eight hours, or whatever. Bro, I don't sleep. You know, I don't sleep. I'm not actually sleeping there. I'm just sitting there. Yeah, what do you mean you don't I sleep? I sit there Everyone for 40 sleeps. minutes and I get back up. Like, I don't sleep. I don't got time. Uh, okay. No time for sleep. Okay. Land, guys. If you're sleeping, you're losing. Well, <laughs> yeah, if you don't sleep, then you make bad decisions when you're awake. And that's I, look, I, I didn't sleep tonight, and I got onto the the Nifty Show. That's that's all I know. I didn't sleep, and because of that, I got into the Nifty Show. Like that's that's all I know. You know, I didn't we sleep got... the other day, and I closed the deal, and I made I paid rent in in, in an hour because I didn't go to sleep, and it was three a.m. So like every well, time I don't sleep, I'm always positively reinforced <laughs> yeah but but what? but also in the same respect i could also say instead of the fact that i didn't go to sleep it's that i woke up early I was, or sorry i was awake early could also be the other argument maybe getting up at six or seven could also give me the exact same benefits and right now all i know is that um po enjoyed me on the show so i'm gonna try and make it to every single one even though it's fucking 7 a.m for me because I'm three hours um, behind them, and they start at 10 a.m. or 9 a.m., whatever they are. It's 7 a.m. for me. But I've been needing a reason to get up. I didn't have a reason. So, like, I just wouldn't get up because there's no reason to. But now that I have that pressure on me a little bit, and, you know, obviously they're way bigger than I am. So I'm like, shit, maybe this this could be my motivation to get up now. Because Twitter spaces, you don't have to, like, do anything. You're just there, like, on your phone. I could just be in my bed doing it, you know? I do. We'll Look, see. I used to I used to work through the night, uh, like I used to. I mean, for bro, many you years, used to. and you, I you work through the night now. What you mean? You're talking to me right after the show. You were like, "Bro, I gotta, I'm gonna hang out for a little bit. Then I'm gonna go back and edit everything, make sure thumbnails look." Yeah, right. I'll work until three in the morning, but then I go to bed. I don't oh. like work through. Dude, going going to bed at three a.m. counts as like staying up and like working through the night. Like, I mean, I guess yeah, not technically through the night, but like three a.m. For for me, that's a normal now, day, but for most people, I that's used pretty... to I used to work through the night in the early wow. days of Perkel. Okay, through so I'm on the, the right night, track then, because that's what I'm doing right now, at 24. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, long term is not sustainable. But yeah. uh, when you're young and to push it for a couple of years to push. Um, but then when I used to go to bed, I used to sleep as long as uh, I, I wouldn't have an alarm. I would go to bed and I would sleep as long as I needed to. And then I would wake up. Sometimes I'd wake up at 10 p.m. Yeah, I don't know. No, because you went to I woke up at because you went to bed at two p.m. after exactly. not sleeping the night before. Yeah. You know, I woke up at. It's not good I, though. You need. I got routine. up at four thirty yesterday. I got out of my bed at four thirty, and I left to go to the gym at like six. Like nothing happened yesterday. I missed. I went live on TikTok. How does as it, I was walking How does it gym. feel? How does it Bad. feel walking into the gym? Bad. At, uh, as your gym morning wo- workout at 6 p.m. and having people who have just finished no. work going to the gym. How does uh, that feel? I don't want to think about that. I felt, here's the thing. Like, I was awake and I kept falling back asleep and being very comfortable in my being. So I was awake slash periodically sleeping slash napping from basically 12 noon until 4.35 o'clock p.m. So I was still doing stuff in my bed a little bit, but like not really. Um, so I still felt that the day had kind of gone, like things had happened, but it was definitely weird after the gym. Cause I get back to my apartment and I'm like kind of ready to get started. And I'm like, Oh fuck. It's like nine o'clock at night already. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. So, I would say, I would say like one of the, um, things that I attribute to some of my, I don't know, stability in my life is, is a good routine. Yeah. So getting up the same time every day. You know, the same routine, having that consistency is incredibly valuable. And if you don't have to, if you know you can schedule things in advance, you know. And so, I mean, long term is not sustainable. That's what I mean. You do the short term, if you need to do it, do what you need to do. But yeah. long term, long term, long term, you want to have a routine. Get up the same time every day, even on weekends if you can. And I don't do that, but I aspire towards that. Try mm. to get up the same time because I'm always fucked on Mondays because I, I sleep in on the weekends. Yeah. Yeah, um, and then, you know, my body's used to waking up at 10 a.m. for Saturday, Sunday, and then all of a sudden I'm up at 6 again. Mondays, I always struggle. And then Tuesdays, I'm fine. Wednesday's fine. Thursday, Friday's fine. So is there no and way then, for Monday for you to just, like, not come in at that time? Like, is there any way to no, make that not happen? Absolutely there's, not. There's no way to hire, like, an assistant to do that first two hours of work? No. Very, very important that that for those first few hours on Monday are very, very mm. important. It's the first day of the week, have staff meetings, and yeah. like what is our plan for the week? You know, you really need to – it sets up the whole week. And and even if you could, in theory, which I can't, but even if you could and you come in at 11, then Tuesday you're in the same boat as you were Monday. True. Otherwise, you'll be tired Tuesday. So if you go in six Tuesday, you're just delaying Monday anyway. Uh, if you go in 11, then then every day you wake up in 11. Then on That's the true. weekends, you sleep until 2 p.m. You're just wow. delaying. The, 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 uh, the sounds best, like you don't got that balance right now. <laughs> the best thing you got to try and do is just try consistently wake up the same time, yeah. even on weekends. Um, yeah, I don't do that. The, I'm about, I'm try. about the bullet on Mondays. But yeah. at least during the week, try if you can. If you yeah, can. I'm gonna try my best. I'm gonna try my best. So, I mean, it's it's been nice. Like the fact that like I've been I've done so much shit and it's only one o'clock. I'm sitting here going like, damn, bro, days are fucking long when you wake up early. Jeez, like I'm used to doing a couple things and then like going to the gym and like that's pretty much the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, look, the, the 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 reason that I used to do it, I'm saying when I started Percal 20 years ago, um, I did it for three years maybe is that um, you can get a lot more, I, I'm an, I, I, I do, could get a lot more done at night without the distractions, you know, the phone's not ringing, it's quiet, you can just sit down, focus, you know, I was building the website, loading products, whatever, I just wanted to be left alone, and, and the only time I had the time to do that was, the space to do that was the night, right? Um, I used to love it. I love the night. I always do. I, I find it like peaceful. The phone's not ringing. Uh, whereas often at work, um, being in the position that I am, um, it's very reactive. So yeah. yes, the staff know from from 7 a.m. once Philip's in and they're not in there anyway until maybe 10 a.m. Do not disturb me. They're not allowed mm-hmm. to put calls through to me. Nothing because I'm, I'm, you know, sorting out what we're doing next year on this marketing expo and this yeah. big client needs something for the event that's happening in seven months. I'm doing long term focus thing. The second I open those floodgates that okay, Philip's available. I've already got seven messages of people who would need to speak to the manager. This that, and I'm just reacting the rest of the day. You know, I'm just okay. Let me phone her back. Okay, in order to help her, I need to do X, Y, Z. You know, so unless I prioritize those first three hours or four hours to actually doing 
long-term things. Whereas at nighttime, I don't have that. I, I can it. really just yeah. focus and do what I need to do. So that's what, why I used to do it. Uh, but now, as I say, I just put those things in place. The mornings is time to, for the staff, I, like in the beginning, and then for me yeah. to do what, what I need to set up, you know. All right, guys, while well, Cade's bending over to go, to, he's fallen asleep on his bead bag already. We've we got Adamoka Brands um, expanding into the music metaverse with uh, Pixel Links or Pix Pixel Links. Links. 